Ah, updating your phone's operating system. Sometimes it's a hassle, but it is more important than you might think. Yeah, WCNC Charlotte's uh, Carolyn Brook joins us tonight to explain why this simple step will help you avoid asking where's the money. You're texting with your best friend. Head northwest. Or maybe using your phone for driving directions when suddenly a message pops up that your phone's operating system needs to be updated. Do you A, update right away, or B, ignore it until your phone reminds you over and over again. If you picked B, listen up. Most of the OS updates that we see these days have to do with security flaws. That's right. Hank Schles, a security solutions manager, says the updates you get from time to time on your phone are essential for fixing not only security flaws, but major holes in code that could cause big time problems should you ignore them. There is no such thing as perfect code, and that goes across any sort of development, especially with mobile operating systems. So it's inevitable that a new OS is going to have flaws in it that cyber attackers find ways to exploit and then can take control of the device. Making you a target for hackers to steal your identity or worse, without you even knowing it. With the amount of social engineering that can happen across you know, social media, third-party messaging platforms like WhatsApp, um, email, SMS, iMessage, even honestly, even gaming and dating apps, People can have you click on a link that actually quietly in the background executes code on your device that then exploits that vulnerability and allows them to take control of the device or have access to particular data. So when you get the alert that your phone's operating system needs to be updated. Do it. Just do it. It's, 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 worth, the, it's worth the five minutes without being able to, to use your phone. To make sure you're protected, security experts suggest changing your phone settings so your operating system will update automatically. Carolyn Brook, WCNC Charlotte.